Hello and welcome to the All Nations House of Prayer live stream here at YWMCM. Welcome. As a community, we daily come into this room and just pray and worship and encounter the Lord together. Yeah, we're so grateful to have an incredible global community from all these different nations. Um, so thank you for joining us from wherever you are. Yeah, so today as we enter into the set, we're going to be flowing back and forth between worshiping the Lord, listening to His voice, and taking what we've heard from Him and partnering with the Lord for the nations. So if you receive anything during this time, please leave it in the comments below. Yeah, we're just about to begin. Um, again, thank you for joining us today. And I just pray that this would be a time of encounter for you and that this would be just a time of enjoying His presence as we enter into worship together. Bless you. Thank you. Holy, 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 holy,
Like you do 
promise keep light the darkness my god that is who you are you are here you are here touching every I worship you, I worship you, you are here, healing every heart, I worship you, I worship you, turn his life wrong, you are here, turn your life around, I worship you.
Let's take some time before we actually get into uh, our prayer topic. And let's just declare to Jesus who he is. He's the one who's that promise keeper. That his promises are yes and amen. The one who's working on our behalf. The one who draws us in for partnership and intimacy. So let's just spend a little bit of time and just speak out. Pray out with your own voice to the Lord that he is that promise keeper, that he is who he is, that he's worthy to be praised, he's worthy to be lifted up. promises are yes and amen and that you took the Holy Spirit and put it inside of us as a down payment that we will be with you for all of eternity Father we thank you for these promises that you are coming back again to rule and reign in Zion and that the earth will be purged of sin and darkness and that you would be exalted in the heights of the heaven yeah Father we thank you in the name of Jesus we Fridays we intercede for Northern Thailand, the nine provinces of the north. And as you know, our we have our DTS team actually leading today. They're and our the rest of the DTS are actually going out in about a week and a half, as most of the, the room is DTS. And we want to be contending for the land that you're going to. Last week we prayed uh, for that, the plowing, the preparing of the land. And so I want to continue to pray for that. This is the, a crucial moment before we go, the, the, the beginning time, preparing the land for you going out and to ask the Holy Spirit of what he's going to do and asking the Holy Spirit to go forth with power, to ask the Holy Spirit to, to open hearts even now and prepare the way. We know that in Chiang Rai right now, there's an opening of COVID, there's a new surge and that some schools are closing down. It may hinder your outreach a little, but we want to contend that the gospel will go forth speedily and with power. And so we're going to wait on the Lord. We're going to ask him what is on his heart. How can we partner with him? And that we can pray. So as we wait, receive from the Lord, and then when you're ready, please come up and share on the mic. เราจะใช้เวลานี้ในการสงบนิ่งแล้วก็ฟังเสียงของพระเจ้าเพื่อเพื่อพระองค์จะเปิดเผยสิ่งที่พระองค์อยากจะให้เราอธิษฐานแล
ใช้เวลาที่จะฟังเสียงของพระองค์เมื่อพระองค์พูดอะไรก็ให้เราไปแบ่งปันที่แมโครโฟนได้picture of uh, especially this DTS. I saw him running um, like in the Olympics uh, on a track. And I saw him jumping hurdles. They were doing hurdles like the, they have to jump high over each one. And I feel like the Lord has hurdles here. But those runners in the race were trained to jump those. And they weren't. Yeah, they weren't actually obstacles. They were a part of the course. And so I saw each of you jumping it with success and clearing each obstacle. And then I saw all of them. I saw all of them on these teams with their chests like this crossing the line. And then I saw all of them. I saw all of them on these teams with their chests like this crossing the line. And then I saw all of them. I saw all of them on these teams. I even saw the kids. I saw Amber doing the same thing. Yeah, and then I just got First uh, Corinthians nine twenty two nine twenty four. You can summarize if you want, or you can look it up. It's up to you. It says, "Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize, as everyone who competes." In the games, goes into strict training. 
They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. And it goes on, it says, we don't run aimlessly. I don't know how much you want to read of that. But I just, I, I just see the Lord has trained you. You guys have gone through strict training, these teams, and they're, you are ready. The Lord is saying you are ready. So Lord, I just pray, Lord, that they would know they are ready. And that the obstacles or the, the, the hurdles to jump, they've been trained for. And Lord, I pray that you would just ready their hearts in these last, this last week, week and a half. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you would just do the final training, do the final uh, uh, tuning and preparation before that day, Lord. Lord, we thank you that nothing surprises you, that there's nothing coming that you don't know about. And so I thank you that even in your sovereignty and in your just goodness, Lord, you prepare us for the days to come. And so I just pray final preparation for these two teams. For the, the leaders and the staff, for the students and the children, Lord, that you would ready them to jump high and to cross the line. Thank you, Lord. Just uh, hear the 
the Lord encouraging you guys uh, and saying, "This is going to be a journey of faith." ก็สิ่งที่พระเจ้าอยากจะบอกกับทุกคนก็คือนี่เป็นการเดินทางแห่งความเชื่อ And that might sound exciting, but when you step into a journey of faith, it's 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 scary sometimes. เป็นสิ่งที่น่าตื่นเต้นถ้าเรารู้ว่าเราจะต้องเดินทางไปด้วยความเชื่อแต่ขณะเดียวกันก็อาจจะดูเหมือนนักเรียนน้อย Because if you're walking by faith, that means you don't know where you're going. You don't know the next step. You're trusting. You're just being obedient and stepping in after God. And even if you don't know the full picture, even if you don't see the full picture, you're being faithful one step after another after another. เพราะการเดินด้วยความเชื่อมันอาจจะดูเรามองไม่เห็นอะไรข้างหน้าแต่มันเป็นการก้าวไปด้วยความไว้วางใจแล้วพระเจ้าจะนําเราในแต่ละก้าวแต่ละก้าวแต่ละก้าว So I want to encourage you guys hear the voice of God ก็อยากหนุนใจให้ฟังเสียงของเจ้า Every single day ทุกๆวัน Make space for that แล้วให้ใช้เวลากับพระองค์ And He will lead you one step after another เพื่อพระเจ้าจะนําเราในแต่ละก้าวได้ So Father I thank you for this These teams, these DTS students who are launching out to northern Thailand, thank you, God, that you have called them and equipped them for this season to run this race. That they are ready, and that doesn't mean they have all the answers. That means that they know the one who does, and they are connected to the one who does. So, Father, I ask that you would lead them perfectly, that you would give them ears to hear and eyes to see what you are doing, what you are speaking, how you are leading. Bless them with an awareness and a sharpness of the Spirit in Jesus' name. ก็พี่เห็นภาพเป็นรถแท็กเตอร์ที่กำลังขนดินซึ่งถ้าถ้าเราทำเองอาจจะมีจอบแล้วก็มันอาจจะดูดินบางที่มันดูแข็งเกินไปที่จอบจะทำงานได้แต่พระเจ้าก็จะใช้รถแท็กเตอร์นั้นเพื่อเตรียมพวนดินก่อนที่เราจะสามารถหวานสิ่งต่างๆลงไปได้ก็ในแล้วก็ในอิสยาห์บทที่57ที่บอกว่าพระเจ้าบอกว่าให้เราพูนดินขึ้นพูนดินขึ้นพระเจ้าจะเป็นผู้ที่จัดเตรียมทางแล้วก็เตรียมทุกอย่างให้กับเราก็ขณะเดียวกันเราก็ทําในส่วนของเราพระเจ้าจะเป็นผู้ที่ขุดดินที่มันอาจจะดูยากเกินไปสําหรับเราแต่เราก็จะมีส่วนร่วมกับพระองค์ในการหวาดมาเด็ดลงไปซึ่งเชื่อว่าทุกสิ่งที่เราได้ออกไปประกาศได้เป็นธรรมสิ่งเหล่านั้นจะเป็นการหวาดมาเล็ดที่ดีลงไปในดินที่พระเจ้าได้เตรียมไปให้ I saw the picture inside the big big tractor machine inside digging the 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 dirt it's so hard but if we use like our Uh, tools, maybe it's so hard for us, but God used that machine to digging up so we can pour the seed in there. And yeah, I just want to encourage that like, God will provide the way. And in Isaiah, like 50, 40, 57, 14, yeah. God said, we will, we will prepare the road. So that's why God will prepare. The way, the road, everything for us. So our part is to be partner with him. Is that like to soil, uh, plant, the uh, plant, and it will growing up in his time. เจ้าค่ะขอบคุณที่พระองค์เป็นผู้ที่จัดเตรียมทุกอย่างเรารู้ว่าพระองค์ทรงนําหน้าเราอยู่ข้างหลังเราและอยู่ล้อมรอบชื่อของเราไม่ว่าทุกคนจะเดินทางไปที่ไหนก็ตามขอบพระเจ้าขอพระองค์ทรงอยู่ด้วยให้เขาได้มั่นใจว่าพระองค์อยู่ด้วยพระองค์เป็นผู้ที่จัดเตรียมทุกอย่างให้กับเขาเขาไม่ต้องกลัวสิ่งใดข้าพเจ้าเพราะพระองค์อยู่กับเขาและพระองค์จะนําหน้าเตรียมทุกอย่างที่จําเป็นสําหรับเขาขณะเดียวกันให้เขาเองที่จะฟังเสียงของพระองค์ในการหวานเมล็ดที่ดีลงไปในจิตใจของแต่ละคนให้เขาทําด้วยความเชื่อมั่นแล้วก็ศรัทธาในพระองค์และเราก็เชื่อว่าสิ่งที่เขาได้ทําลงไปไม่ว่าจะเป็นการประกาศพระกิติคุณการเป็นพยานหรือว่าการรักษาโรคหรือสิ่งใดก็ตามที่เขาทําขอให้สิ่งเหล่านั้นที่จะยกย่องถวายเกียรติแด่พระองค์และให้คนได้มารู้จักกับพระนามของพระองค์ขอบพระเจ้า Yeah I just uh, felt kind of had a similar picture of a 
the plow being sharpened and being prepared for the work. And I felt like the Lord said that we don't know always which fields we'll be going in to plow. Um, but we we know that we will be plowing. So uh, if if the tools are ready, if we're prepared in our spirits and in our hearts, uh, then when we're called out, we'll be much more effective. I feel like, yeah, some days we might not know where we're going to go. Some days it might rain and we might not be able to go out and work. But the times that the Lord has will be more effective if we prepare ourselves to follow after Him with our whole hearts. เพราะว่าบางครั้งพอเราออกไปข้างนอกเราไม่รู้สถานการณ์ข้างหน้าจริงๆว่าจะเกิดอะไรขึ้นแต่ขอให้เราเตรียมใจของเราให้พร้อม
ฝนตกเราก็จะไม่ทํางานอยู่ตรงนั้นเพราะว่าเราจะรอให้ฝนหยุด And so I feel like the Lord says, do not wait for the rain to stop, but to actually continue to prepare to go out. แต่พระเจ้าบอกกับเราว่าเมื่อฝนตกเราอย่าหยุดที่จะทํางานแต่ให้เราเตรียมพร้อม Yeah, so just even with not knowing the situation up in uh, the locations you're going to, but continue to prepare your hearts to go. Continue to prepare yourself to know that the Lord is going to be faithful to be that waymaker to have the the running of the race. ก็ในสถานการณ์หรือว่าที่ที่เราจะไปเราไม่รู้ว่าอะไรจะเกิดขึ้นแต่ขอให้เชื่อในพระสัญญาของพระเจ้าในสิ่งที่พระองค์บอกว่าเหมือนเพลงที่เราลองไป waymaker เนี่ยคือพระเจ้าเป็นผู้ที่จัดเตรียมทุกอย่างให้กับเราแล้วก็พระองค์ก็สัตย์ซื่อในการที่จะรักษาสัญญาแล้วก็สิ่งที่จําเป็นสำหรับเรา Father, we ask that, Lord, that even in this the next week and a half, as this DTS is preparing to go out, that Lord, that you would start preparing them, that Father, that you would start giving expectation to see the things that you have for them in this next couple of months, that Father, that there would be an expectation to see your kingdom come, that there would be an expectation to encounter the living God, and Lord, as they go out, that Father, that there would be much fruit. That Lord, even in the the difficult situations, that it would actually produce something that was would have greater effect, much more fruit, Lord, than uh, than before. Lord, we ask that you would be glorified in the going. That Lord, in this time, that Lord, you prepare the hearts of the DTS, and that Lord, as you send them out, you prepare the hearts of the land, Lord, to receive your gospel in the name of Jesus. So in the next, we have about nine minutes. I would actually like for us to get in small groups, if we can. I want a lot of us are of the DTS, so I want you guys to be praying for one another, preparing your hearts to go out, and then also prepare for the land that you're in. If you could. ก็ในช่วงสุดท้ายเราอยากจะให้ใช้เวลาที่ฐานเผื่อกันและกันให้เราเองที่จะเตรียมใจของเราในการที่จะออกไปประกาศแล้วก็ที่ที่เราจะไป Yeah, so I'm gonna say a quick prayer as we get into small groups. Father, we ask that Lord, you prepare us, and that Lord, that you would go before us, and that Lord, that you would anoint these DTS students, that you would be glorified over them in the name of Jesus.
declare you God a miracle in Thailand. You declare you God a miracle. I declare you God a miracle. I declare you God a miracle in Thailand. I declare you God a miracle. I declare. goes out, that they shall see these miracles in northern Thailand, and that, Father, that you'd go before them, that cloud by day and the fire by night, preparing the way, that, Lord, we say that you'd bless them abundantly. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 